The five state agencies involved include Investment Promotion Authority, National Development Bank, the Cocoa Board of Papua New Guinea, Tourism Promotion Authority and the Internal Revenue Commission. Although a small step, the signing of the MOUs is a significant progress toward restoring government services in the province. In the 2018 budget, Deputy Prime Minister and Treasurer Charles Abel encouraged the signing of MOUs between provincial governments and various organizations. We are hoping that after the signing of the MOU with the help of the governor and the um, provincial administrator that we'll be able to set up office here and get our officers back into Kerama. The ceremony highlights the importance for revenue regeneration and agriculture to be re-established in the province with the introduction of the Cocoa Board to partner with local cocoa farmers. Acting CEO for Cocoa Board of Papua New Guinea, Tony Vigil, said the Cocoa Board is serious with engaging with the Gulf province to rebuild the cocoa industry. Accessibility then was uh, as a problem. We travel this way, the roads say better than Cocoa Board, better than East New Britain. So there is no excuse of market accessibility. Cocoa Board is serious of bringing the market to Kerema. The challenge now, Governor, the A-team of the industry, the brain of the industry is in your province, in this, in this town, right now. And that's the kind of commitment and seriousness we are. National Development Bank General Manager Credit Schemes, Daniel Wohimbe, said NDB is ready to work closely with the Gulf Provincial Government and Gulf Administration in moving forward by bringing the service down to where the need is, at the level of the people. The bank is taking a huge risk to come down to the rural communities. But, is that, but that is where the need is. Microcredit facilities are not available to our people in rural areas. The provincial government has had a vision now to partner NDB, providing leverage with security funding. The three MOAs signed by NDB and the provincial government and its administration ensure the people of Gulf access to credit financing without having to travel almost six hours into Port Moresby. Bringing services back to the province, starting with Kerala Town, the provincial headquarters. We have signed agreements to make money available from my PSIP, to make money available from the provincial government for everybody in Gulf Province who wants to start a business. Governor Haiveta said the provincial government's aim through this initiative is to push for the utilization of the land through agriculture, business and rural empowerment by launching the services that were lacking, bring back those that have left years ago and gone away, and introduce those which the province has never seen. He said although the signing of the MOUs is a small step, the cooperation between his government and these agencies will result in significant outcomes. But I hope to remember sign a this document like here, this MOU, and by providing roadmap, the cultural education programs, heritage management, plan the old something by Kamalu province. People are challenged from Amy La Lusimblong province that we go up and down here often. And planning them, if they come to the local provincial staff, officials here, we will ask him if they supply any more. Also, the whole style of Mosby, the of Mosby. That has to stop. You guys have to stay in the province and work. Thank you. Helen Sao, National MTV News.